Right now at Honda, find your kind of value with a low finance rate offer on selected Civic hatch and sedan models. There's never been a better time to get into a Civic. So talk to your local dealer and let's help you into a Honda today. T's and C's apply. Ends August 31st. See website for details. You're listening to the Batuta Advocates Weekly News Wrap on Desert Rock FM 96.5. G'day, I'm Bruce Hitchcock, and you're listening to the Weekly Batuta News Bulletin. Here are this week's top stories from the Batuta Advocate, Australia's oldest and most respected newspaper. First up, Michael Clark's offered to step in as leader of the Liberal Party. With Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull's 30 news poll losing streak dominating the headlines more than any policy he's introduced, the former Australian Test cricket captain Michael Clarke has offered to come out of retirement for a stint as Liberal Party leader. Although critical of the PM's lack of public faith, Clarke maintains if given the opportunity, he'll continue Turnbull's work with the exception of appointing Michael Hussey as Foreign Affairs Minister. Jordan Lee, one of our readers from down the coast, wrote in saying that if this happens, we better get ready for a broken fucking economy. In other news around the nation, we sat down with a Victorian man this week who's considering joining the police force. The man explained to us that he wanted to join the boys in blue because he has an insatiable desire to bash the mentally ill. This comes after half a dozen Victorian cops were caught on camera pinning down, striking and dousing a mentally ill Melbourne man with capsicum spray and a garden hose. This was after his psychologist, fearing for his mental health, had asked the police to come and check up on him. John Bacon, 33, says he can't believe it's taken him this long to realise that the Victorian police is where he needs to be. He said, I guess I just thought my desires to assault and blind mentally ill people was something I shouldn't share with the world. But it's great to know there is a community out there that not only supports people like me, but encourages this type of behaviour. It was Greek Easter last weekend and we revealed the story of an overworked local yaya who violently refused any offers of help in the kitchen. Eleni Lodopsimo, an 88-year-old grandmother, struggled through cooking an oversized meal for her eight children, 30 grandchildren, and a couple of random local Greeks who had nowhere else to celebrate. Eleni assured the guests that none of them were to help out. After being offered a hand at relocating an extra-large pot, currently boiling eight kilos of peeled and sliced potatoes, Yaya looked at the questioner like someone had just died. She told her gay 45-year-old grandson, Con, to... Go find girlfriend. She no have to be Greek. Italian or maybe even not. Her. Back home in Batuta now, and a cashed up local bloke has treated his 1994 Nissan Pulsar to a tank of 98 octane this week. The local fourth year baker's apprentice says he made the decision after he wound up with a bit of extra cash due to a cheeky Kino win during an Easter family gathering at Batuta Dolphins Leagues Club. 20 year old Dale Berrigan said he was just feeling generous when he reached for the 98 octane nozzle at the local pump in what he puts down to a random act of kindness. She's been good to me, Dale said, rubbing the side mirror of his palsy. She's taken me and all my mates around the place, I'll tell you what. She's got some stories to tell. <laughs> nah, but seriously, she deserves it. And I want to see her kick on for a few more years yet. Plus, uh, you know, you get a few more Ks out of her too now. Elsewhere around town, we quizzed a local jogger this week about his inability to jog down streets that aren't full of people. The local fitness fanatic, Peter Douglas, says he's only able to do his morning and afternoon jogs down the busiest streets when foot traffic is at its heaviest. He said, I'm trying to do my cardio and there's just a sea of slow walking soft bodies getting in the way of me. I just wish there was another way for me to get my heart rate up, but yeah, running up and down Collards and Main Road is the only way. And I can only do it between 5 and 6 in the afternoon and just after 7 in the morning. I've been lobbying to the Shire Council to put running lanes in for us fast movers, but the mayor told me to just run down a quieter street. You'll see me exercise down there. In sports news now, and former vice-captain of the Australian cricket team David Warner may miss another 12 months of cricket. After accepting the 12-month ban placed on him by Cricket Australia for his role in the now-infamous ball-tampering scandal, the Australian Fashion Police have introduced their own fresh charges against Warner after he appeared on television this week wearing a cashmere sweater draped around his neck. Warner was seen in full view of the public with the expensive garment draped across his back and the sleeves tied in a loose knot across his chest. One ex-cricket fan, Kenny, told us that the off-white number, usually worn by company hires with no concept of reality and a penchant for whinging on Twitter, has absolutely no place in modern Australia and that Warner, 
should face the full force of the authorities and be made an example of. Anyway, that's your weekly news wrap for now. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast in order to get your weekly fix of real, unfiltered and unwavering regional news. Until next week, I'm Bruce Hitchcock. Right now at Honda, find your kind of value with a low finance rate offer on selected Civic hatch and sedan models. There's never been a better time to get into a Civic. So talk to your local dealer and let's help you into a Honda today. T's and C's apply. Ends August 31st. See website for details.